It's like one or two more wins. They're in a comfy spot where they're going to be mm. going to the major. Puck and Pango almost on exact same yes. Naking going for a oh. courier snipe, but he rolled low on that's, the damage. He had legit had like one HP. <laughs> oh, that's sad. And oh. Sox up top, they managed to get the kill on the celery. This, oh, Snake King. Well, has sticks and a raindrop, tombstone. Some it's nighttime. There. Ace, oh, at the five minute mark. They managed to bring him down. Very well played. No killers. No, no, no kill enjoyers. They don't want to do it. Although, Quinn, he might be a kill enjoyer Looking for a glimpse. They're not careful. Close. Just out of Run, range. Run, Soxa. Soxa, hoping to escape. Gets vision. And oh. we'll get him. Okay, Quinn with the DD wants to go in for this. Get some good damage. Nice Dodges dodge. the jump. And now... They still have foil. Yeah, they're not going for 33. They want the easier kill because of that Vanguard. It's a little bit more difficult. Quinn Sticks and finding okay. the Pango, getting that finish. But 33, he will be able to surge and get out. They're going to find this time now. I mean, I, this could be just to take the kill and then move in and steal the ancients as ace very quickly <laughs> really dealt with. hate him oh my god tofu just got level six with the tome too so making this move down bottom it looks like they're already prepared nine in the area quinn breaks smoke finds skitter right away goes for the static storm down but are they going to be able to get away oh, from this double bomb base shift dodges the damage but they have the roar and enough for the finish the glimpse to get him away and then it ends up being a trade of the Night Stalker for that Disruptor. But actually, the Crimson Guard rarely seen this item, but really good against a lot of these heroes. I mean, Beastmaster is not going for the Helm of the Overlord, but all that attack speed be helpful. I'm watching Quinn bottom right now. Cookie. He has no orb. He has no spells. Stun. Follow-up stun. The bounce back. Will it be enough? No. Face shift. shift and then the jump away. But no, he will burn. As Tofu tries to dodge from nine but the damage is there he's gonna be chilling here on this little island and we're gonna have to pay attention to him in a couple minutes dude i'm gonna steal this farming pattern this is sick uh all right so <laughs> see night stalker in towards <laughs> mid is gonna get the silence out there the roll comes through but Duraccio, he shows up ready to battle and will they end up being able oh nine he got stuck chase uh -oh. glimpse back and no escape for nine. It got caught on the cliff of death. Your team is giving you a super easy way into mid, joining the fight and taking the enemy mid tier one tower. So they also have some of these like yeah. weird team fighty items too. I would, hmm. yeah, I'm just, oh, never mind. DD up top with coil. The damage out, Quinn jumps in, static storm after the coil. Yeah, that one hurts, but the oh, wall kisses. and now the drop down. Be careful with this one, Quinn. Does he have any more spells left? Needs to go for the jaunt away. And still they Big find him. The cookie, it's not quite going to connect, but the vacuum nice is going to be there. No mana? No, he has. So Tundra, they show up a little bit late with all their healers. Has rage. And Duraccio doesn't want to run through that wall, though. Needs to back away. Uh, as rage is done. Stone doing good damage in some trouble, and Duraccio just dies. Ooh, rut -row. They oh, are snaking doing once a more. ton. Tofu tries to force staff get away. The continued chase down, and now Skinner shows up too. He's got the radiance. He's got the vision. They're gonna find this treant, and they did not know what hit him. You were damn right about that. They are running into some problems. No, it's casual 2700 HP snaking at minute 18 with a. Crimson Guard, you know, on his, on him. Yeah, this guy. Uh, there's more coming up. Hello, Ace. Yeah. Bye bye, Ace. Nowhere to go here. You're you're not getting away from this one. Whoop. Way too much aggression coming out from Tundra, and they've completely shifted their everything. Okay, Snaking. It's gonna give himself up, maybe eventually, one day. Or right. oh oh oh, <laughs> Quinn. Quinn, if you die, Snaking right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I stand by it with the auras. They're so strong. But game in. Walk into this one now. Don't have that much vision, but we'll find Snake King right at the start. Silence is there. Look at this fight. Say, maybe this is not one we want to take. And everybody evacuates. Run away. Get out of here. And Celery, he might not be so lucky. Four staff tries to keep him alive. Has an overgrowth to hope to escape, but a really good placement on the wall. And the vacuum back. The static storm will not save. At least for the moment, the Disruptor, Ace is still getting chased, and with Skinner running him down, Life Sealer has got to evacuate the freaking Siege Creep. 
Just roar, run away. We did not want to go up that hill. Please don't take the fight against us. The chase down's going to okay. be there. They get Buy a back. good loyal connection. And now enough to bring down Skinner. That's a good fight for them, at least for the moment. Trying to arm with Toggle to get out of trouble. able to escape from that one. They're all grouped together right here, and Quinn trying to pull them apart. But Nine also looking for that chase down. The cookie's Cookie. there. Doesn't have anything Bing else bomb. left in the tank to get them away. Tofu. They still have vacuum. Okay, oh, okay. they got to be careful. Duraccio. This fight is never ending. I mean, th they have so much survivability on Tundra. It's really hard to bring them down. They still have pipe, for goodness Cookie sake. Cookie in one. They pop it now. Duraccio on to 33. They oh, turn now the on to Ace. He doesn't have Greaves ready, and the vacuum is there. A second salvo from 33 as he surges forward nine, and they were able to extend this fight long enough as nine dodges away from that glimpse. You can't cookie through that wall. And Tofu, Run, tofu. might be able to get out of there finally. Skeeteroni, is he gonna be okay? Uh, he's still he's... taking some damage. Oh, there you go. He's just gonna slowly die. Okay, I thought the creep was gonna be enough to keep him alive, but Quinn playing around with him. And up top, there's a vacuum wall okay. on the two and Skitter gonna pop his ulti, get out of trouble. Celery gets burned to death. Garaccio shows up, but it wasn't in time every little bit of this draft for Tundra, like mm -hmm. this timing. This timing is incredibly strong for them. They've got all the great auras, but he just kept walking in a straight line. Okay, they have no roll. Gaiman are in a good position on mid. Look, fast play. Jumps in, tries to find him. Can they get him? Yes, they can. It's going to be a stun now, but the back wall onto both of them. Duraccio has to run away. Actually, now wanting to go back in, they get the roar down. Static Storm too, but nobody feels comfortable going on this Dark Seer. It is, again, all abilities used to disengage as Tofu gets burned to death by the illusion of Duraccio from 33. Yeah, and BKB. Quinn, BKB, backs away, and Celery not going to be so lucky. Quinn has to get out of here. Has another orb, the phase shift, the jaunt. Still manages to hit onto it. Oh. Quinn chased down, they find him for the kill! Back behind the Tier 4 towers, Tundra are absolutely rolling this game. I mean, I think the panel said it best earlier when they said that Tundra, you don't know what you're going to get from. Some games, that they just look like the best team in the world, and other games, it looks a little all over the place. I think this is when they're at their best, when they're doing weird, unorthodox stuff and making it look cool. I mean, you're getting complete domination Tundra in this game. This yeah. map play with, you know, their Night Soccer pushing out waves. You have nine on the Pango as well going around. And yeah, looks like this is just going to be one Rex. Still have Aegis for a little bit more, 15 seconds. Going to go in for it, but he can't... Re well, maybe they can with the glimpse back. Okay, okay. He still has the Aegis. Eight seconds. Seven seconds, building it down. Don't Do they kill him, try don't kill him. him. They're leaving him alone. Skinner wants oh. to die. Can they glimpse the hero? No, he goes down right as it expires. Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, oh, no. Oh, it was right as it expired, and now the glimpse pulls him back. That's also going to stun uh -oh. for the tennis snap. Darkseer, nowhere to go with the back Four wall. Mo. On to three. Is it going to be enough, though? I don't think so. They don't have the damage to deal with this. They get the infest heal on to Ace. If he wins one more fight, I feel like this knife sitter could be uncontrollable. Be careful if he walks up that hill right away, finds him. That is a dead undying, and the coil now connects. Zoxa also in trouble. Two supports going down low, but not all the way dead yet at the start of this fight. And now they've got him under control here. They need to keep him alive for long enough to get that Greaves and the pipe they don't see him. And he's hiding away. Where's the detection? Didn't have it. He gets out. Ace survives all those auras. Looking for somebody to find. Of course, the other big thing about that is that Hawk Vision being less at night. If they pop Night Stalker ulti, suddenly playing around Vision you thought you had, you might not have it anymore. Tofu. Walking up high ground. They find 33 right at the start. The Nullifier can't surge away. In trouble. Cookie to stay alive. Okay. Pops off a couple of items. Getting lower and lower. The Crimson. Everything used. And now looking for a back He's still alive. Pull back, but no. They kill him off. Does have buyback if they want to use it. But the Overgrowth is there. And, well, Duraccio, the silence is out from both teams, actually. Needs to turn. Fight onto Skinner. They're not taking that much damage. But 33 is back into the fight. He's alive again. They've got all their ores back up. Will it matter? Ace trying to walk away. The vacuum back on to two, keeping him low. Quinn also in trouble and going to die. That's two already uh -oh. dead, but they Duraccio. both have buyback. Duraccio, four step, doesn't have a way out. And now into the pit, they will go all dead from Gaiman. Gaiman may be overplaying, but now Tundra buybacks into second row. 10k lead. To see him on the Hawk. Who do they decide to go on? They're going to find nine right at the start. Take the less tanky target. Why not? 
bringing him low. Can he get the kill with a four hero caught again with that back wall? There wasn't a ton of follow up, and Duraccio taking down Soxa. So, two fights going on simultaneously. Celery is going to get caught, and now with Skitter being under control, but they don't have Lips. a way to keep him there, will manage to barely escape with that BKB. But you can see they're not out of the woods yet on Tundra. They want to go all the way around. Yeah, and this is going to be better for them, too, because there won't be any vision on this Hawk side vision. to stop them. Looking for nine right at the start, and they catch him. Able to get him with that nullifier. The stun is there, but the four staff not going to help. The overgrowth connects onto all of them, but he's backing away, and he gets hit. Oh, Soxa with the save, but Quinn on him, trying to bring him down. They don't have enough. Oh, he what lived. a save from Soxa. Dude, I feel like in all of that mess, he had to click on a hero portrait or something, but... Beastmaster now in trouble, gonna get ran down. What a save from this support. Skitter still going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Rachio. I mean, he hits pretty hard on this life stealer, and well, he can't fly above the kinetic field, but can with that BKB. They so have hex. Need right, to be careful. Continuing chasing coil there. Thinking about the Hex, thinking about the turn. They throw it now onto Duraccio, the Ion Shell, the Punch, but gonna go for the Rage, and then oh, the Chase down Soxa. He doesn't have anywhere else to go either. 33, Aegis goes <laughs> down, and he's gonna die too, and now Soxa in trouble. The extended fight did not go their way. As Quinn also kills off that creep wave, they are gonna need to deal with top eventually. As a smoke up comes out, and they're underneath the ward. They didn't scout it, Quinn. Oh, oh, smoke as well. That could have been really bad, and it still might be if they're not careful. Hex. Thank you, bet they find him. Oh, they found him right away. Quinn pops the BKB, though, looking for the turn. Nine already gets the roll up. He looks like he can get through this fight okay. Ace is gone. No buyback. Skitter finding Duraccio, and everybody needing to just run. The batches are there. The stunts are there. Duraccio is going to die. And they buy back immediately on this disruptor as Quinn tries to escape from this one. But he too will he be in more trouble. The silence, the punches, the kill. And Tundra look like they've done it. Look how broken wars are. Zero gold cost, just one you the entire fight. They did not expect this war to be up, I think. They oh. ping it now, but it's just too late. 29 seconds away. Quinn and a 600 gold away from having buyback. But it's all in for the tier four towers and with no response. Tundra are going to take game number one in this upset. Unbelievable. As Duraccio, no real Still answer. Hitting. They're going to hex him there. And yeah, they got Ancient's it. going down. Static Storm, it's not nearly enough. GG. I love how Tundra showed up in this lane. Snake King still taking the beating, though. Yeah, they need to be careful with how they oh, three, three. maneuver. As 33 goes down, first blood. Celery takes it. And you see, having to take that point in Little Shredder this early meant that Soxa couldn't be there with the cookie to save. Not that much regen right now on Duraccio. But yeah, this tower taking a ton of damage. As nine second form, as you mentioned, starting to whittle it down. And Quinn doesn't have an easy way to stop this, but Skidder goes in with the Vanguard, willing to play aggressively, yep. and the arrow connects. This is what they're waiting for. Ace gets brought Look down. Mid. And nice mid. Done. Stun, keeping him from being brought down low. And no chance for a follow-up. Nine just walks away. I like if they want to give Ace this mid lane to get level six. Usually when you're struggling, the easiest way to come back is, you know, sitting mid. As now they're going on nine. Okay. Can they kill him? They're trying. Coil. Three down. Jason is there. Double TP. And looking for the kill. Soul Assumption's available, but they already oh, lose no. Celery and Quinn. Ooh. Just gonna oh the stun no, in the no, air the arrow no. too dude snaking fed the line right where it he needs has no to motto. go but the fairy fire is there we'll have a phase shift free fire to nothing to no avail they lose Quinn Callahan and up top tofu also starting to die to Skidder who's just diving back behind the tower uh oh and jumps out too many problems away. man avoid slow still not quite killing him but tofu eventually likely to get ran down there getting body blocked by a creep creeps trying to help him tofu goes for one little last hit beforehand that is going to be Skidder getting another kill on a killing spree and now it is 3k gold at least well no no vision they had the sentry down but it's Top not gonna make any difference and tofu he's just gonna get stunned and gonna get killed that is the blink reveal and now another tower 
going to get hit, but do they try and steal this Ancient Sack? No, because Zoraccio's dead. Socks and 33 pairing together for this one. Everywhere you look, it is kills going in the way of Tundra, although it looks like finally they're going to get some retribution. 33 drops down. Socks are going to get chased by Quinn and Celery, and that will be enough to get a double kill, but... I mean, I, I don't know if that's enough to feel good about this game right now. Or at least very good and needed counter kills, but yeah, I don't really want to sugarcoat it because this map is about to be on fire. Soxa does have Mortimer's Kisses. Celery passing by. They're looking for an arrow play into the Snapfire Kisses. And okay, instead, Snap Bolt. They're just going to drop it. Went for the arrow forward, the jump Love forward, it. snaking. He will die to tower here. Oh, celery, hello. <laughs> but it is going to be also Celery going down as the roar comes out. So Tundra, they managed to take two for snaking while they're chasing the other side. Are they going to go for it? No, they're not going to. Raccio? TP back bottom, actually. S33 is in trouble. Facing 33. Gets Cookie. him with the assassinate. Nine is and here. X is there. Celery moving in. Drops the tombstone. Finds him. Is this actually going to be an okay fight for Tundra? As they bring in numbers, and now on top of Duraccio, nobody else can get there. Oh, they didn't have TPs ready or willing to go. First of all, him having evasion is big. Him applying evasion to the enemies is huge, too. And they're going to be able to take really long fights. They're going to be very tanky. S33 is toying around. Not being in a position he really wants to be in. One TP coming in. Well, he is likely to drop low, but not quite dead. Avalanche out. Tofu able to break that one. And the good toss back. Okay, Celery dies to a boar, but they take down Soxa also. So Gaming Gladiator is finding a little bit of respite before this item timing comes online for Tundra. As Duracho is being ran at in the mid lane. And he doesn't even know it yet. Nope. Yeah, they're, they're on him. Wants to turn to fight, dead. but it was never going to be enough. I do like for now how Gaiman are playing on the map, like with the confidence of just trying to run them over. They're already coming top. Careful, my friends. Quinn. Bing bong. Jumps the backside, finds him. The Visage Manavoid. there. Quinn out of mana. in trouble. Done. Doesn't have a way out from this one. And so they find themselves another couple kills. This move feels like it has to work, but Dyer's scanning, and they immediately they know. Oh, my God. He even leaves one centaur behind. Up oh, gamer moment right there. Whoever scanned. Although, do you oh, still Skitter. die? Skitter. Skitter. Break. You scan. They scan for you. Oh, Skitter. No. Is he going to go down? Will he end up dropping? The damage coming in. Is it going to be enough? No. Do well, oh, oh, no. we got him. Who <laughs> gets him? All right. So Quinn for, well, they might be more than just Quinn. All right. Yeah, a lot of them are dying. That's a triple kill for Soxa. <laughs> Pretty Bam, good for Tundra. I'm just going to leap away. Again, also, I love their items. Drums on the Murana. Yeah. Furthermore, enable the speed of the game. Socks up with the mech. Don't have your offlaner buy it. Let someone else. That's Quinn with a coil. Catches there on the 33, the avalanche, and the toss back. And they will find 33. So a couple of these picks off here and yeah. there. Nine. Uh-oh. Nine's stun. in a little bit too far, too. They have the resummon there with the cookie out. Arrow. It's going to connect onto Ace. Still alive and fine but it does buy enough space for Tundra to get away. Definitely having a couple of deaths that they don't want to have as Gaben are making a nice job. They're still looking, and I, I do like what they're doing. Celery. Instantly gets his war killed, sadly, snaking. Stun now onto Tiny. Quinn there, silence out. Avalanche Tofu healed up, tries to get away. Man avoid. But the man avoid onto Quinn kills off Tofu, and now Quinn has to run. They have a lot of damage out for this man blink as stun. the blink is there. Silence, Chase, Duraccio. Okay, they're all in the river. They're all caught together. Maybe they have the damage okay. that they need. They have a cookie away from nine. Have to run through the fire to take this fight. And Quinn jumps in like a crazy person, but it works out. Silence now onto Snake. Duraccio, Duraccio onto Skinner. <gasps> Do they have a bird stun? Do they have anything at all? Can they bring him down in time? A couple more hits to oh, stun. It was not enough. Skitter lives through it all, kills them off. Okay. So maybe they're going to wait for, like, to fly out another smoke. Maybe they're just waiting for some waves to push in. I do like that they backed off, but they should look for a fight. And now, lane. a little bit weird, they start okay. the fight and catch the DK. He's down low. Can they bring him down in time? Yes. Tundra, a rare whiff there, losing okay. the DK and Skitter snap aggressively bolt. going in with a snap ulti down. Avalanche tries to find and control now onto Skitter. Silence, 33 Not a toss off back. the side. The tossback's there, but the leap away. And now Ace, he's in too far and he gets punished. 
So they take down two, and it was a buyback from the DK. I'm snaking once more. Gaming. The Tofu. Toss back. Toss back. <laughs> okay, kill snaking, maybe. No, the heal is there. More than enough heal, and now Tofu is in more trouble. Doraccio has to back away. Oh, he does not have that many ways to escape. And Blink Dagger coming off cooldown soon. Quinn trying to salvage this. BKB out from Duraccio. Turns, tries to get away. They do have the bird stun now, but Duraccio, he is starting to oh, hurt a whole boy. heck of a lot. Blink Sword, oh. Mana Void is enough, but they do have the coil. It's not going to follow up there. The, the damage won't be enough. Nope. Skitter just backs away, trying to escape from these zombies. Someone better have a genius plan because I don't have it. Enchanted Quiver for Sniper. That's okay. the one. Let's see it. It's going to kill everyone. It might. Arrow. <laughs> oh, Black Hole. Avatos. No Black Hole available <laughs> this time, but they will get a coil only onto one, leashed, and then backs out. Garaccio wanting to punch, but Skitter, he's there. That's Scotty done. Chasing down Celery. Do they have any damage? Oh, they have roar. anything at all? Quinn Woo! in trouble. The arrow and the cookie. Both going to connect to take him out as they run wild over this next couple of plays here. Nine throws out the stun and Skitter right Scotty. on top of Duraccio. Nowhere left for him to go. The disarm for a little bit with that concussive grenade, but he too will die. Oof. And Tundra uh -oh. completely eviscerating it. Gaming Gladiators here in this game number two. Yeah, thinking says missing mid. They're missing everywhere, my friend. GG. GG. They right. had enough. Yeah, um, I don't blame them. I don't see how you come back from this stage. 21k down at 28 minutes. Tundra are... I love